Hi, I'm Susan Bowerman, registered dietitian, and today's how-to video is all about avocados. How to select them, how to store them, and most importantly, how to cut them. When you go to the market and you're looking for an avocado, what you want to do is just press very gently around the stem end, and it should just yield a little bit. If it's really, really soft, it's probably overripe. When you get your avocado home, if it still feels a little bit firm to you, go ahead and put it in a brown paper bag and just leave it on the counter for a day or two and just check it until it feels like it's the right degree of ripeness for you. When you get ready to prepare your avocado, a lot of times there's just this little bit of the stem left. You can just pop that out with your finger. And to slice your avocado, just hold it in your hand and I'm going to just slice it all the way around. Very simple, just bring my knife back to where I started. And you should be able to just twist the two halves apart. Now, in order to get the pit out, what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're going to strike the pit with it. Place it down on your cutting board. Don't hold it in your hand because you might miss. We don't want you to hurt yourself. And you're just going to take your knife and give it a nice whack. And then twist a little bit and your pit just comes right out. Now that you've got your pit removed, just take a spoon and you just want to scoop all the way around your avocado here. And what you're trying to do is you actually want to get as close to the peel as you can and there's a reason for that. If you look at the color of the avocado here on the outside, you can see how much darker that is than the inside. That pigment is something called lutein. It's a phytonutrient and then you get more lutein the closer you get to the peel. So always try to get as much of it out. And I got a pretty clean sweep there. And then your avocado is basically ready to slice. So you can just slice it into some nice slices that you can put on top of a salad. You can add it to a sandwich. Put it on top of some grilled fish if you want to. You know, we talk about using avocado as a healthy fat, and that's because it's delicious and it's also very versatile. If you want to mash this avocado, you could try it on a sandwich, for example, instead of mayonnaise as a spread. Mashed avocado, of course, is guacamole, we know with chips, but it's also delicious with fresh vegetables. And the other thing I like to do with it is I like to make my tuna salad with it. Just take some canned tuna, put some vegetables in there, hold the whole thing together with some mashed avocado, and it makes a really tasty lunch.